Hello, welcome back. My name is Caitlin and I love makeup and playing with makeup, talking about makeup. If you're into that kind of thing, then I hope that you will consider subscribing. Today is just gonna be a get ready with me. It's Thanksgiving, so I'm just throwing some makeup on. I'm gonna try to keep it kind of light, but I am playing with the Odin's Eye Christmas Eve palette. It just came in the mail yesterday. I bought the set where it's the two new ones and the two from last year. So today is just gonna be a first impressions of the Christmas Eve palette. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about Black Friday sales or I guess just holiday sales in general. So let's go ahead and get started. We're just going to ignore the red spots that I have on my face. I was picking at them and you know the meme where it's like i had this one spot and no one noticed here let me just pick at it for hours and turn it into like a massive wound it's kind of what i did so i always start with my eye makeup first i like to use these shadow shields just because if there is any fallout it's less of a pain to clean up and also this is the second video that I'm filming in my new apartment. It's mid-morning, so the sun is sort of like out. Um, I have some of the blinds open, some of them closed, I'm trying to work on lighting. So if it's not great, bear with me. I will try to make it better as the videos progress. I also have already put the Patrick Ta brow gel into my brows just to give it some time to set. Everything that I use will be in the description box below if I don't mention it. Let's talk about Black Friday sales. First of all, I feel like all of the sales for this year started in October. Everyone's like pre-Black Friday or early Black Friday, Black Friday weeks. It's just like a little bit overwhelming i remember the days when like first of all all of the stores were closed on thanksgiving so if you wanted to go shopping you had to wait for the stores to open at like three or four in the morning on friday and now like stores are open all during thanksgiving and all of the sales have like already started Which, for, let me preface this by saying, like, if you like shopping and you have the means to do so, like, do what you want, you know? I find that when stores, like, sort of shove stuff down your throats, many people myself included then feel the need to buy something even if like i hadn't even known that that particular product existed or something and it wasn't something that i was like looking to purchase anyways i just you get hit with the like oh my gosh a sale like I have to have it then if it's 20% off, but to be honest, 20% off isn't that great of a deal. So unless it's something that you are already looking to purchase in the first place, it's kind of a waste of money. And I say this coming off, I did nine months of a no buy year because I had been spending so much money on makeup and skincare and stuff. I just find like all of the marketing being shoved at you constantly. I mean, it works. People obviously shop. You know, that's the whole purpose of the store too, right? They don't, having a sale isn't making them money, even though in my opinion, things are often overpriced anyways, but they offer sales knowing that the consumer is more likely to be spending more money than they would have previously. So 
you know, it's all a scam, I guess. <laughs> like, unless there is something that you really wanted to get anyways, then like it's nice having a discount. But if it's something that you weren't planning on buying in the first place, just because it's a sale, like you don't need it. I can also see how, like, I feel like for the longest time, makeup never actually went on sale. Like I can totally see why people would want to make use of it because it never used to happen. But just because something on, is on sale doesn't mean that you need it. I guess that's kind of <laughs> all I needed to say. Like, I kind of wish that it would go back to only being like a legit Black Friday and then like Cyber Monday or I guess even now it's Cyber Week. But when stores are starting in October and going basically all through Thanksgiving, I imagine sales will even continue to happen closer to Christmas and I think just being the holiday like hubbub of it all, people just kind of get suckered into spending money. And I know the holidays can be kind of stressful anyways, especially if you're like strapped for cash in the first place. So seeing a bunch of sales makes you think that you're saving money, but I don't know. I'm just kind of over all of the sale talk, the Black Friday talk, and that's with me. Like, I succumbed to it too. Like, I bought all of the Odin's Eye things, um, and that wasn't even on the sale, but they, it's like a holiday release, so that makes you feel like you're gonna miss out on something if you don't get them, and especially since they brought the palettes from last year back, which I guess I hadn't even really been paying attention last year, but um, they like sold out really quickly, I think, and then they didn't restock, so people were kind of bummed that they missed out. Anyways, I've also noticed that, so because I'm in my new apartment and they're like, there were legitimately some things that I needed to get and Amazon, it makes it so easy to purchase from them and I know people have feelings about, like they kind of have a monopoly on everything, but like two day shipping, you get it shipped to where you want to go, you don't have to go in store. I fall to the allure of it as well but when I was buying some stuff that like I actually needed I found myself just sort of like browsing everything else in the deals and a lot of that like I don't need it and I didn't need it but I did find myself because I was already there looking for stuff that I did actually need I sort of stuck around and kept looking at things and I did put a bunch of stuff in my cart but then I let reason and logic take over and then I like removed the stuff that I didn't need. It is tempting when everything is like, this is the lowest price it's been in 30 days, hurry, get it now, you know? I'm mostly liking how that looks. I basically just used, I used the shade Nowhere. And then night sky, I put wonderful, that's the purple on the inner part of my eye. Then I put some blue star over top of the night sky. I did a little bit of ice crystal and nightfall to sort of blend out the outer parts. And I kind of think I'm gonna do, I'm debating between the green and the yellow on the inner corner. Maybe the green, let's go green. It might be too dark, we'll see. Yeah, it's kind of dark. Okay, maybe I'll do snow light. Anyways, let me know in the comments, how do you feel about Black Friday, holiday shopping? I'm gonna have to fix that. Do you like it for if there's stuff that you actually do need to buy? Or do you find that it gets you in the shopping mindset even if 
you don't really need anything because I totally feel that. I also feel like I kind of want to use some of this shade. It's called Gorgeous. It's like a bluey teal purpley shift. So do you spend the Black Friday deals trying to buy Christmas presents? Like, how do you shop during Black Friday? Or do you not shop at all? Which if you don't shop at all, I totally commend you. I know I would probably be using Black Friday to get Christmas gifts, but like, my family doesn't generally, we don't really exchange Christmas gifts. Um, I have two nephews, so I'll buy gifts for them, but otherwise we don't exchange gifts. It just sort of takes all of the stress out. And it lets you sort of focus on what the holiday should be about, which is spending time with family. I think I'm gonna put something in my waterline. Okay, I'm gonna go with this LA Girl Neon Eyeliner in the shade Electric. All right, I've just put some mascara on and now I'm gonna fill in my brows. So another thing about Black Friday sales, and I know not all brands do this, but some do. The ones that come to mind specifically are Pat McGrath and Charlotte Tilbury where they offer a higher percentage discount the more money you spend. So you have to spend over a certain amount in order to get the highest discount, which even the highest discount is like 30%, or Pat McGrath might actually be 40%, but still you have to spend like at least over $150, I think, which Pat McGrath, it's not hard to do considering the motherships are 130 a piece. So like again, if you're in the market for a mothership specifically, then this would be a good time to get it. But Pat McGrath also does discounts throughout the year of like 30%. So just because there's a discount right now, I don't know. Also, am I the only one that thinks 30% isn't that much of a deal? Especially considering it's Black Friday and like all growing up, Black Friday meant that things were at least 50% off, if not more. Like that's the whole point and that was the whole reason why people sat in line for hours waiting for stores to open. I think I'm also just burnt out on not necessarily shopping but kind of shopping but just like spending money things are so expensive just in general especially with like like groceries oh my gosh the price of food has just skyrocketed and i feel like the cost of living raises that we get aren't equating what the percentage increase in products are and I know that I'm like I'm lucky because I do have a like decently paying job I don't know how other people do it I guess okay so I guess I'm kind of done ranting about Black Friday and Black Friday shopping um, I would love to know what you think about it and hopefully like I'm not the only one feeling this way I'm just like overwhelmed and just sort of tired of being inundated with shopping stuff and sales stuff I feel like I feel like even when so for my no buy I like unsubscribed to a lot of stores emails um, but somehow I'm still getting like quite a few every day that I just have to delete and even just like Instagram ads just like super being targeted, which I get it. That's how the algorithm kind of works. But also, so I have moved into my new apartment and I don't currently have a couch. I just have like a, a club chair, but like it's fine for now until I like find a couch that I want and one that's not like crazy expensive 
but one that will like hold up and last for a while, you know? But since I have been like searching for couches, all of my Instagram ads have turned to <laughs> ads for couches like Wayfair and Bed Bath & Beyond, Walmart, Target. It's like I sent the signal out that I need a couch and so everyone's like, shop with us, shop with us, we have them. Which, if you have any couch recommendations, let me know. Ideally, it would be something that would be easy to put together myself uh, so I don't have to like bug anyone to help me. I don't like asking for help. Also let me know, is there anything in specific that you're shopping for Black Friday? Like do you buy stuff for yourself or do you spend this time getting Christmas gifts? Does your family exchange Christmas gifts? For a while, we used to just like make a list of stuff that we want and then put our names in a hat and then we just draw names, which I think is really also nice because it takes some of the pressure off. We also put a like amount, like a money amount limit so that it was fair, you know, like 50 bucks. Also, because it's to the point, like me and my sister are both adults and even as a kid, the stuff that we got for Christmas was generally stuff that, like, we needed. Uh, so, like, now, if there's stuff that we need, we kind of just go out and buy it ourselves, you know? I also just picked up some stuff from Phytosurgeons. I got their new Kindle and Ignite blushes, and then I got the Rosy Daybreak Shade 2, the um, cream bronzer, and then I also got the mirrored moonlight spectral shine i have fresh fog and divine daylight but i wanted to try mirrored moonlight so far i've been liking it it's like a really nice subtle bronzer and i love that it's rosy so stuff that i'm liking about my new apartment um i like having sort of the independence i haven't lived alone since college it's been nice to like sort of get back to that and I like that my commute to work is much shorter before it was like 35 minutes on a good day without traffic or construction and that was going to work but on the way home like it was at least 40 minutes if not longer and now it's about 15 minutes, so I feel like I have more time to do stuff after work and I've also I'm now going to a new gym, which is Different but nice so far. I go after work where before I would go before work So I'm still kind of getting used to that schedule um, I liked going before work before just because when you wake up like you know that that's what you're doing so now I haven't yet, but like, I was worried about, you know, you go all day at work and then it gives you the time to talk yourself out of going to the gym. Or if like you're really busy at work, then you maybe feel like you're too tired, which thankfully that hasn't happened. It still is like different, just getting used to it. It's also been weird getting used to, so before I would make dinner, and there were five of us in the house. So now I'm like trying to figure out or like remember how to make dinner for one, <laughs> which I know that I can just like sort of make the amounts that I was making and then I could just like freeze it or whatever. Um, but I also like, I don't have issues sort of eating the same thing over and over again. It's kind of just easy, like you make one or two meals or something and then you're good for a few days, you just eat it for lunch and dinner. Anything else to talk about? Let's go over what I think about this palette so far, the Christmas Eve palette. I, I do have some 
there's like some patchiness but it's in the crease of my eye and I have hooded eyes so that's kind of bound to happen anyways but I like how these shades turned out together they feels pretty typical of the Odin's eye formula I think the shimmers are working well together I like how this look turned out if you can see I kind of like the idea I've been watching a lot of um, Batty Bean recently and I like when she does the palette bingos so because I have so many like palettes of the same brand I kind of like the idea of doing that um, just sort of get creativity juices flowing I think that would be pretty fun otherwise oh, I guess I should put a lip on I mean I'm gonna be eating Thanksgiving food so I don't really want to have anything crazy on I had I might just finish with this. I had this on at the beginning. It's the Make Beauty Halo Moon, which is basically the clear. I'll probably just stick with that. I really like how it feels on the lips. It's hydrating. And because it's clear, you can kind of just put it on willy-nilly and not worry about what it looks like because it's basically just chapstick, so. Anywho, this is the finished look. I like how the palette turned out. The foundation, it's the Armani Luminous Silk and it's been a little bit since I've used it but I really like how it is looking and I paired it with the Tower 28 concealer. I really like both of those together and then I've just really been on board with the Givenchy, the Prism Libre, Libre, whatever, powder. It's in the shade one, and I just like how it gives that smoothing effect to the skin. All right, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. Again, let me know in the comments your thoughts on Black Friday shopping and holiday shopping and sales and all of the things, and are you being inundated as much as I am? It's sort of just like overwhelming, but in a way that makes it easier for me to just sort of like shut it all out and not pay attention to it which i guess is a good thing thanks for hanging out i'll see you in the next one bye <laughs>